Hey everybody, and welcome back to the Spider Dog Network. Right here today, I have a new game that's currently in beta. It is called <laughs> It is called Race the Sun. It's a new interesting kind of kind of take to a racer from the guys at Flip Fly. So we're going to check it out here. Just having a few uh, technical pickups real quick and then I'll get right to the game here. There we go. Okay. So Race the Sun is a racing game. It's kind of like almost like a runner in a way because you know how runners you keep going and going and going. Um, if you hit something, you're gone. You're dead. Um, in this game, you can kind of bump into stuff, but you can't really hit anything head-on, or else you get destroyed. Um, the cool thing about Race of the Sun is that each day, there's a new track. So the track changes every day, uh, the leaderboards change every day, and, and each day you can try to become the best in the world at that Race, and, race the Sun course. Um, so, let's check it out. I'm actually going to be using an Xbox 360 controller for this, because... I play better with a controller, but uh, if you look at the game, the graphics are real simplistic. Um, just a bunch of polygons and that. Um, the game is crazy addictive, though. It's like it's it has that runner mentality. It's like just one more, just one more. I can do better than the last time. So the the main object, you pick up these triangles. Uh, you get more triangles. You get your multiplier up. Uh, multiplier up gets you more score as it runs along. The further you get, the higher the score. It's it's pretty simple. Uh, you get different upgrades as you do certain things. Um, you'll see at the end of the match here, I'll have some different things to do. Uh, the green power up lets you jump like that. Um, but it's got it's got a real simple style. I have a power up right now that if you see the magnet over on the right side of the screen, it makes the uh, triangles come towards me, the prisms. Taking that upstairs. Um, but you're also racing the sun. Um, the sun goes down, your vehicle is solar powered, so you have to try to make sure to get those, uh, those yellow star type things, because um, that'll bring the sun back up for you. But it's, it's a super simplistic game, but it's incredibly addicting. Yeah, right here, the star. And that, uh, that gives you more sunlight. I'm going to jump over this. Because that can get hard to dodge a little bit there. I'm actually doing pretty well this run. By now, I'm usually dead and gone. I'm doing way better than normal guys. Um, so I think there's four regions, but I've never made it far enough to actually find out. run here um, for the day um, better than I mean I did a, do a test run earlier so it's not in, entirely true but yeah so this is race the sun it's it's an interesting little game it's uh, it's kind of cool I'm gonna I'm gonna go another I'm gonna do another go here and then we'll get into the player world stuff but I mean the art style and everything is very simplistic the music's simplistic, but it fits the setting and everything. I, I like it a lot. Um, I think everything's just supposed to be simple. That's, that's the beauty of it. Very simple, black and white, with some color thrown in for the power-ups and stuff to grab. 
See, there, there's an example of you can bump into stuff. Um, you just can't get anything head on, or else you're gonna get destroyed. But, I'm gonna race the crap out of the sun, man. What's really cool about it? It keeps you coming back because the course changes, so it, it differentiates the experience every time you play it, essentially. Um, but it, it's it does have that addictive, like man, just one more. I can do. I can just do better than I did that last run, and, and that's what makes you want to keep coming back to me. hard to dodge around stuff like that it's it <laughs> it's real easy to get screwed up there so let's uh let's go to the main menu um and check out some player worlds i actually haven't checked out any player worlds um but people you can create your own worlds um and let other people race them these are the highest rated ones so so we'll do the highest rated one race the flower it's by uh Jis Jizawani, i'm guessing is his name. Um, it's totally community rated. Um, again, this is in beta, so there hasn't been a lot of people um, voting yet on this kind of stuff. But you can see how how this would be an, an integral feature and, and way to play different uh, courses throughout the day whenever they change the course. So you can try some different things. So let's try Race the Flower. Um, and the download was super quick. Whoa! Holy crap, okay. <laughs> well, <laughs> I did great on that run, obviously. So, let's try that again. Yeah. Just one more time, just one more time. Like I said, I got this, I got this, guys. That's kind of cool. I, I like the different options in there. Obviously, there's a lot of different options. Ah, so you're creating stuff because now you have, like, alien ships. They're, you know, throwing down laser beams. Just giving more obstacles to the game experience. And also letting people be creative. That's always a good thing. If you let your community create, um, you can just... the game will have more longevity. It'll last longer. Uh, it's that's always a good thing. Mm. All right, I got this. I got this. I only collected like five tries that time.
that's that's really cool. Like I said, it, it looks like there's a diverse amount of options in creating levels. Um, so I'll try this one like one last time. And then... I will hit up another one and check, check somebody else's levels out. Yeah, this one's definitely a tough one. A lot of thought went into this. but it looks like the sun's starting to set, so I need to try to get exactly where I just passed up on my right side there. Um. Let's go back to the main menu. Let's find another player world to mess around with. We'll just go with, uh, we'll go with Void Original, the OG, um, by Arix. It's like Aaron as a T-Rex. I bet that's exactly how he got his name. He's, he's an Aaron T-Rex. I think that's exactly what's going on. Okay, Aaron Rex. Oh, uh, this, wow, this is really cool, actually. <laughs> Totally asteroids. That, that's awesome. I really like that. That's really cool. It definitely feels like flying in space. That's that's awesome. So obviously you're not stuck with just doing uh, race the sun. Basically, this is almost like playing a Star Wars game here. Like a Star Wars just like straight racer. Um, but that's that's really cool. So it looks like there was a lot of thought put into the world creator. It looks like you can basically create whatever kind of world you, you really want to create. And that's awesome. It'll, it'll definitely help the longevity of the game in the long run.
there I go. I'm crashing right into that. All right, so let's try another world here. Whoop, nope, not again. All right, let's 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 switch that up. Let's see, which world should I pick for the next one here? Um, I think I'm gonna try the, yeah, let's do DLVX by Drew Van Camp. All right, Drew Van Camp, one of your so-called, what did you put it on Twitter? Junkie Worlds will be broadcast to viewers online right now, right here on the Spider Duck Network. Let's, uh, let's check it out. Uh, I like I like the as aesthetic there. Okay. I like the darkness, but with the with like the solar eclipse look in the background, it looks really cool. Let's jump around. Come on, Drew. I like the look, but but man. It's like, there's like nothing to it, man. We're starting to get something. I'm guessing that was just to kind of get your. Uh... This is gonna be really cool if it, if you know more stuff keeps happening the further you go. I will actually like this a lot then. Starting to starting to get those obstacles in there. All the darkness. Adds a little bit of strategy in there. Um, oh man, I'm gonna lose from darkness. I think. Oh, I missed that. Dang it. So close. I lost because of darkness. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, <laughs> there was your there was your level from uh, Drew Van Camp. Um, it did get it did get better, Drew. It did get better. Uh, I will I will give you props for that one, sir. All right. So let's let's see if there's uh, any more. Let's let's go to most recent. Um, I can't give Drew any more love. Drew Junk One. I, I don't. You know, I'll play it so I can rate it. Let's let's go with that. Mm. All right, I'll play this one. I'll rate it. All right. I like I like the red. All right, that's ah those things cause eclipses. That's that's cool. I like that. 
The thing about this is every level I've played has been different, which is awesome, and it and it makes a varied experience throughout the whole. And I just crashed real early. You guys didn't see that, all right? That did not happen at all. Okay, I just just remember that. Um. At Race the Sun. Because honestly, he is this bad at Race the Sun. I, I can't believe it. Never in my in my wildest dreams did I think someone could be this bad at a game, but... There it is, I witnessed. Alright, I should fly around and try to actually find some stuff. Sun! I need sun, damn it! I'm gonna lose again because I, I don't have sun. Oh, there we go. There's a little bit. Need to find some more, though. It's not gonna... It just, it's just always like right to the left or right. There we go. Just gotta find some more. Just gotta find some more. I got this. I got this. I like those spooky elements that are adding to the music there. That's really cool. like a bird in the middle there man so I can I can get like a sun I gotta raise that sun up oh try and ah there it goes that is it that is it all right Drew I'm a I'm a rate you now all right so I'm I'm gonna say that 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 was a it's a solid effort So Drew Junk one, I will rate that. I will it goes up to five. I, I will rate that four because it was it was a solid effort, a solid effort, Drew. There you go. There's your rating. Tell your friends about it. I just did check out Drew Junk one. If you have the Race of Sun beta, check it out. Um, let's do let's do one more. Um, let's do Skyblock City from Red Emzer. Red Miser, maybe? Um, let's check it out. Ooh. Nice. Alright, I like this. That's pretty cool, actually. Until, at least until I come back down. And it's gonna be Baby Town Frogs. Or I'm gonna go back up. actually look like a city in there. there you go. That, that seems like it's going to be a tough one to get through. Mm. Um, let's, let's do one more try real quick. This, this massive city of death and despair. Wow. I, I wrecked that one like right there. Right into that like park or whatever it was. I'm gonna say that was like a statue or something. I mean that's that's my guess. Um, but anyway, guys, thank you for joining me. This has been Race the Sun. Check it out. Um, the developer is Flip Fly. Um, you can you can find out more about the game. Actually, I need to you know use my investigative stuff to find the website real quick.
It is at flipfly.com. That's with two P's. F L I P P F L Y. And you can go to the specific race the sun by flipfly.com slash race the sun. Um, check it out. Um, it should be coming out fairly soon. It's in beta right now. Um, uh, you can you can pay for the beta and get in the beta and and get all the updates, uh, just like a lot of uh, smaller games are doing nowadays. Um, but it's it's a really cool game. It's a lot of fun. Um, it's it's really addicting um, for some odd reason. I'm super addicted to just going and, and racing and and racing more and and being like, man, I can beat my time and or I can beat my score and get further. I can be the best in the world at Race the Sun, and I better try to do it now before uh, the game actually comes out, because then I'll be all the way like towards the bottom. And at least at least now I have a fighting chance with less people playing. But um, this was also a Kickstarter funded project, so. Um, it's it's one of the good things that have come out of Kickstarter. Uh, so uh, go support other other good games that you feel might might do do well. So um, I am Trevor Oz. I am here for the Spider Duck Network. Uh, thanks for tuning in, guys. And I might live stream something else in a little bit here. So thanks, guys.